Question, the member from Oshawa. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Acting Premier. This morning's FAO report shows that the sell-off of Hydro One is a bad deal for Ontario businesses, but this Liberal government continues to ignore them. In fact, Speaker, if they were listening, they would have heard that Ontario businesses cite soaring electricity costs as the number one factor hurting business competitiveness. This government sell-off won't even ensure relief from the debt retirement charge for these businesses, and on top of that, businesses are going to lose the Ontario clean energy benefit. Will the Acting Premier finally listen to the people of this province and stop the sale of Hydro One? Thank you, Deputy Premier. Well, uh, uh, Speaker, you know there's there's a myth that the uh, that the third party is trying to uh, to perpetuate across this province, and that myth is that Hydro One sets its own rates. In fact, the truth is Hydro One does not and will not set its own rates. So anyone who's drawing the link between uh, the, the broadening of the ownership of Hydro One and increased rates is simply trying to create I'm being careful, Speaker, in the choice of my words. They are creating a myth that actually is false. The OEB sets the rates for utilities. The OEB sets the rates now. The OEB will set the rates in the future. And has, as Hydro One becomes a stronger, better company, Speaker, Answer. that will actually reduce the upward pressure on rates. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. We already know that because of the rising cost of electricity, nearly 40 per cent of Ontario businesses will delay or cancel investment in the province. This morning's report confirms that businesses will continue to face increasing expenses because of this government's reckless and short-sighted decision to sell off Hydro One. Business competitiveness is hurting in this province, so will the Acting Premier finally do something about this and stop the sale of Hydro One? Thank you. Yes. So, Deputy Speaker, Speaker I, I think that uh, anyone who does business in this province will tell us that investment in infrastructure is one of the most important things we can do to improve our productivity, Speaker. And what this does, Speaker, what the what the revenue from Hydro One will allow us to do is build the infrastructure that is desperately needed. There is a real cost to uh, not investing in the infrastructure. Uh, as I said earlier, for every $100 million invested in public infrastructure, there's an increase in uh, real GDP of $114 million. So, Speaker, we're making investments. We're taking some assets, putting them into other assets that will yield an important return on investment fiscally Answer. and also significantly improve the quality of life of people who are asking for improvements in our infrastructure. Thank you. New